Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the diagonal raised double crochet stitch, which is a unique, very highly textured crochet stitch, similar on the front as it is on the back. And it's uh, it creates these unique uh, raised double crochet, almost cables across your fabric. It's a fun stitch to work. It is a little bit more on the complicated side because of these front and back post double crochet stitches and uh, and that. But once you get it going, it's one that is well worth it and that you will come to love in the end. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find the direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And because of the complexity of the stitch, you may want to just go ahead and check that out. It's there for you. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've used this stitch before. I know I've seen it in a couple of crochet beanies, uh, but you can let me know how you've used this stitch in the comments and I'd love to hear from you. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of four stitches. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to chain a, a total of 20 stitches. Once you have your desired chain worked, you're going to begin by working one double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you can chain two and turn your work. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain two and turn your work. For row two, we're going to skip the first double crochet stitch and we're going to work a front post double crochet around each of the next two front, uh, two double crochet stitches. So skip that first stitch, front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. You're then going to back post double crochet. And actually, let me go back here. I'll just show you how to do the front post double crochet. To do your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, and you're going to insert your hook from the front through to the back and then around out the front again of the post of the next stitch. You're then going to yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that's the first of your two front post double crochets. You're going to do it one more around the post of the next stitch. So bring your hook in front, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're going to work one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. So for the back post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook from the back to the front, across the front and out through the back again, yarn over, draw up a loop, bringing it around the post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You're going to do that one more time around the next stitch one more back post double crochet, just like so. You're now uh, going to repeat that all the way across. So working one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, 
followed by one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. When you come to your final stitch, you're simply going to work a double crochet into the top of that starting chain. I'm at the end of my row two. I'm going to work one final double crochet into the top of my chain three. You can then chain two and turn your work. For row three, you're going to skip that first double crochet because your chain two is going to count as your stitch. You're now going to work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So front post double crochet around the next stitch. Next, you're going to work a back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. So bring your hook in the back of your work, work a back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Next, work one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. One back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, followed by one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a double crochet into the top of your turning chain. I've come all the way across here in my row three. I'm working a final front post double crochet followed by a double crochet into that top of the turning chain. And at the end of your row three, you can chain two and turn your work. It's hard to see it on camera here, but you should start to see your diagonal post stitches coming through there. For row four, you're going to skip that first double crochet because our chain two counts as a stitch. You're going to begin row four by working a back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. So back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, followed by a front post double crochet stitch around each of the next two stitches. You're now, go now going to repeat back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, followed by a front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across and then work a double crochet into the top of your starting chain. You can then chain two and turn your work. For row five, you're going to, you've chained two, you're going to skip that first stitch you're going to begin row five by working a back post double crochet around the next stitch, followed by two front post double crochet stitches, or one front post double crochet, sorry, worked around each of the next two stitches. Next, work one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. and repeat two one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches followed by two back post 
double crochet stitches around each of the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across, ending with a final back post double crochet, followed by a double crochet in your final stitch. I'm almost to the end here. I have two front post double crochets, followed by a back post double crochet, and then a double crochet into the top of that turning chain. You can then chain two and turn your work. For row six, you're going to skip the first double crochet stitch and work a front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Next, work one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. One front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches, followed by one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across and work one final double crochet in the top of your turning chain. At the end of your row six, you can chain two and turn your work. And that's it. I realize it was a lot to take in, so feel free to go back and watch this video as much as you need to. Uh, head on over to my blog there where you'll find the written instructions. But for the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows three through to six. So your row three started with uh, skipping that first double crochet and then a front post double crochet, followed by your two back posts and so forth. So uh, go on and uh, rewind this video if you need to, pause it where you need to, and uh, enjoy the stitch. It is lots of fun once you get the hang of it. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to work the diagonal double crochet, raised double crochet stitch. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you again next week for another stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.